My friends, this week, the sacred scripture invites us to reflect on the nature of prayer, which is most appropriate for the times we have spent together in reflection. For example, on Tuesday, we hear that the Lord counsels Martha to rest, an essential element to be able to open our hearts to communicate our deepest desires to the Lord, which is really what prayer is. It's communing with the Lord. And of course, specifically, the disciples asked Jesus, teach us to pray. But what's interesting is that the Lord gave us the Our Father, a prayer of simple petitions. Recall that the Lord criticized the Pharisees for simply going on and on and on with multiple words because they forgot the point. That prayer is that moment of surrender to the Lord, allowing us to offer to him our hopes, our dreams, our anxieties, our fears, to ask for his graciousness to meet our daily needs, our daily bread, for the grace to live in charity, to forgive the trespasses of our neighbors, and therefore to grow in relationship with him. So as you know, we've talked about many different types of formal prayer, and they are all very important. But my message to you this week is to explore the beauty of informal prayer. And that simply means time spent in silence before the Lord. If you can come before the Eucharistic Lord, that is a tremendous opportunity for prayer and grace. But if that's not possible, to find what I call a sacred corner, in your home, perhaps outside, where you can just quiet and rest your mind as best as possible, dismiss the anxieties and worries we all have in life, and just sit with the Lord. Imagine him sitting next to you and tell him the things that are on your heart. Tell him the questions you have. Tell him how much you love him. And then sit in silence so that he can speak back to you. That sort of informal prayer is a powerful way for us to grow in our relationship with the Lord. And in this coming week, we'll explore it together.